Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben. And today we have a closer look at the Kubokan whiskeys. What's that? Kubokan is a, a brand of tomato, the tomato distillery. That's in the heart of the space side. Unfortunately, one of these closed distilleries that you can't get into, but there is a distillery video on the channel. And what I found here with Kubokin, with our creation series, there's a huge variety of casks. Yeah, so Kubokin, I remember Kubokin 10 years ago when they just started the brand. There was just one Kubokin with a, uh, with a distinct smoky aroma. So that Tomatin had the non-smoky themselves with, on their, their own name. And here the Kubokan with a peaty note in it, mm -hmm. a s definite smoky note in it. And then uh, we had a visit of a brand ambassador from Tomatin mm -hmm. here, and he introduced uh, new Kubokans uh, with several maturations. And I just confused Tomatin. Tomatin is open to the public. No, no problem. <laughs> 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 I just confused them. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, I was there really decades ago and then they had 23 stills, pot stills there. They were the biggest pot still still in Scotland mm -hmm. and today they just have four into operation and six, uh, so two spare left and the rest they made to money mm -hmm. <laughs> recycling of the copper. So now a few weeks in the year they produce a peated malt, a smoky one and from that they develop the Kubokan brand and from one bottle now they are out to several bottles. There is a uh, bottle I do have here. We do not know whether it stays on the market or it's a one-off. Uh, and here those are really limited editions with number three and number four. Mm -hmm. And so we taste number four first because we think they have the uh, more gentle casks in it. Yeah, I've just visited the Tomatin distillery and yeah and shame on you <laughs> shame on me yeah <laughs> and i visited them and they were they were actually asking me for your photos because they they didn't have any photos when they were had so many stills in the room uh -huh, okay uh your photos were good but you never got all the stills in one picture no not all. <laughs> but with 23 stills that's actually impossible and there was this um, uh, balustrade in between so yes it was quite difficult to photograph. Yeah, the thing is, I didn't really get all the stills in one photo in a nice photo. I got them all in a photo with a pipe hanging yeah. through. There's always, you get the, this would be the perfect picture if that pipe was not there. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. here we have the Kubokan. Kubokan is named after a, a dog, a, a, a hidden dog, a ghost dog uh, from the mosses. And from the mosses, you have the peat, and the peat delivers uh, mm -hmm. the smokiness into the whiskey. And this is creation number four, matured in tawny pot, one of my favorite, and cognac cask, not my really favorite. Mm -hmm. So, and the character, a medley of plum jam, plum jam, grilled peach, stewed forest fruit, cinnamon, and sweet campfire smoke. Non chill filtered, natural color, 46%. ABV, very good. So from the paper, excellent. So this, uh, do you know the the Amtrain, uh, the Amtrain or Amtrim, a cocktail? No. Because it's kind of a, a a hint on that because the Amtrim cocktail is cognac, port wine, uh, cognac and port wine, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and a hint of orange bitter and syrup. So. You have the cognac and the port wine, you just need the, the orange bitter and the syrup. <laughs> so for a peated whiskey, it's priced uh, below 60. Uh, so it has a price, but not too expensive because it has this uh, maturation in port casks uh, and cognac casks, and it has the, uh, the smoke in it. So below 60 is a price. Uh, which is okay from my point of view, if it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fruitiness on the nose. So it's not that immense smoky as I had with the Kubakans before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, took a little bit. So it shows some color. Oh, this is fruity mm -hmm. and smoky. Yeah, fruity. Mm -hmm. Is this this plum jam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, might be peaches, juicy, and the smokiness. How much? Twenty-five, thirty ppm. Because you you feel the this uh, the fruitiness immediately. So if it was a forty, forty-five, fifty. You wouldn't smell that immediately. Yeah, very fruity with a decent amount of smoke. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's it's definitely less smoky than I expected. It's not a 40, 50. It's, it feels more like 25, 30, something like that. But it's very, very fruity. This feels like someone in the i don't know backyard went to the plum tree took all the <laughs> plums put it in a pot and boiled it over a smoking campfire <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah cheers cheers mm -hmm. i like the port wine character then the smoke kicks in clads my mouth and in the aftertaste there is this aromatic uh, limousin oak from the uh, cognac casks so everything in what they said um, the aftertaste brings a little bit of uh, spiciness from the cognac cask the tawny part is just fruity smooth gentle the aftertaste, a little bit of the cognac cask is present. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> I'm just too distracted from that flavor. It's it's interesting. You have a, mm, a nice fruitiness, some kind of very ripe fruitiness, a mm, little bit of dried fruitiness. It all comes from, yeah, cognac and port wine. And they, they they work quite well together. Usually port wine is not that common with whiskey. Usually have a like a, a only port wine maturation. These are usually typically very sweet and very nice, very gentle. This one with the smoke and a little bit of the cognac with the dryness and a little bit of a that bitter touch to it um, has a is a very, very well balanced. Very balanced smoky whiskey. I like it. Intense really intense mm. people like those intensity aromas intense in aromas. it's intense on on uh, it's balanced on not many many columns i would say mm. but on fruitiness dry or a little bit of a bitterness and good amount of smokiness yeah mm. i like it mm. yeah. so it will be limited i think and mm. you probably will not find all of these number three did we have a number two yeah, there was a number one, number two, and uh, this okay. here is the, the number three. But I think okay. the number two is uh, was sold out pretty quickly. So, mm -hmm. so this, this was number four. No? Yeah, yeah, we were number four. We're going you know, four and three because uh, of uh, the next one will be yeah pretty pretty intense. Yeah, but this one is also pretty intense. So I'm I'm really excited if we mm -hmm. if we got the <laughs> <laughs> the right sequence. Yeah, the right sequence. Yeah. So that was it with our uh, take on the Tomatin Kubokin creation number four with a cognac and port wine cask. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.